Hey guys, today we talk empties, empties, empties. It's right around here. It's right around there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of empties to show you. Well, not a lot, but a lot of makeup ones and skincare empties for December. So I thought I'd show those to you. First off, let's get the makeup wipes out of the way because I went through quite a few makeup wipes. Um, these tend to be my favorites. They're available locally at... Um, if you have like a Costco, we have BJ's here and it's the same thing, you know, one of those stores where you get everything in bulk. Um, so yeah, I love these Neutrogena wipes. Very, very good. Um, how many are in here? 25 and I got like a pack of six for like, you know, a really good price. So um, yeah, you get, I feel like they're like $18.99 for six or something like that. So it's a good deal and you'll see a lot of these in future uh, empties videos. The other, the other wipes, I love these and I've talked about these before if you have sensitive skin these are great and even if you don't have sensitive skin these are just really great wipes they tend to be pretty pricey there are Vino ultra calming makeup removing wipes um, there are 25 in here and again it's kind of pricey I feel like it's like six dollars for the 25 wipes so it is pretty pricey but I love them they're just when it says ultra calming they ain't lying I, I really do like these wipes very very good things uh, very, very good things. Uh, let's see, seventh generation baby. These are uh, some wipes I got on the cheap uh, from a website. They had these for like $2.60, so I got like eight packs. And they're drier than I like. I tend to use them more for swatching. Um, these are the wipes, and uh, in here there's 64 unscented wipes. So they are like, it says free and clear, all of that gently cleans and everything like that. They're really good for swatching. I do a lot. I swatch so many palettes on my blog this month so I, I definitely use these up and I have more palettes to swatch um so yeah they're really good for that they aren't really soft enough to use on my face I'd use them on my face in a pinch but they're not my favorite to use on my face not in the least Next, this is totally indulgent. Um, every year, it seems like, because I know it happened this year, Laura Mercier comes out with a set of four uh, of these souffles, and this is the one I used up most recently. It's almond coconut milk. Um, I got a set of four last year, so I think I'm on my third one is in my bathroom. So this is the second one I used up. These are so nice. Now these are definitely indulgent for four of these. I believe it's sixty dollars, so I'm gonna make it last two years. Hopefully, I'm gonna use two in two thousand <laughs> in the next year until the next year. Maybe I'll get another one for the next two years. Uh, but this is almond coconut milk, and it smells amazing it smells like cake batter to me it is the most amazing oh, i could eat this whole thing it is the most amazing scent i loved using it um after taking a shower it's just fantastic let me let, look at this again it's still in stores i've seen it in nordstrom the four pack and again it's 60 bucks maybe they'll go down there are never any left it would be cool if they went down uh, in price well the closer it got to the holidays but I can't recommend these enough. It's a great, great, you know, a gift for somebody, a gift for yourself. It's great. Um, I used up quite a bit of lotion. Uh, let's see. Uh, the next one was something I got from a QVC set for Peter Thomas Roth. It's his uh, Mega Rich uh, Body Lotion. This is so nice. It smells really, really great. Oh, oh, I got lipstick on it. I smelled it. I mean, lip gloss on it. I smelled it a little too close. Uh, but yeah, uh-oh, somebody sees a squirrel. I hate it when that happens. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's good stuff. This was, is a 2.7 ounce uh, container, and I used it up rather quickly because it isn't the thickest lotion in the world. It does smell great, though. It smells really, really great. Uh, this is a hand lotion I got from um, a glossy box last, I think, a year ago. And it's a really good hand cream. Um, it's restorative hand cream. It's nice and thick, keeps your hands... Uh, you know, through about two washings, I would say, it keeps your hands nice and moisturized, so pretty good. Uh, yeah, I used this up. This was in my purse. It's a 2.5 ounce, and what is it called? I can't even say it, but I'll let you look at it again. Uh, yeah, so I've never heard of this brand, but I really do like this hand cream. It was great. Really, really, really nice. Uh, Bare Minerals. This is probably my umpteenth thing of their Purely Nourishing Moisturizer. This is the one for combination skin. I think I got this last year at the outlet. 
Um, I visited there with my mom and we got these sets of skincare at reduced price at the uh, Bare Minerals outlet. This is a 1.7 ounce and I had this, uh, usually if, I think this took me about two and a half months to use up in between using other things, you know, testing out other moisturizers and that kind of a thing. So it takes me a while to use up things. Uh, but yeah, this is a great moisturizer. There he goes. There's a, this is a great moisturizer if you have combination skin. It looks, I mean, it makes your skin feel really good. I have an oilier T-zone and drier cheeks and chin, especially this time of year, and it works great. It also works really well for me during the summer when my skin kind of changes and my T-zone is oilier and um, my uh, cheeks and chin are slightly dry. So either season, all around the year, it works really well, so I like it. Um, a mascara. I used up a Mali Volumizing Mascara. These are one of, this is one of my favorites. Um, I have a really great giveaway. If you live in the U.S., check out my blog. If you go to my blog, the link is going to be below. Click on the giveaways tab and you'll see it. Um, I'm giving away four of my favorite mascaras and they range in price from $16 to $20. So it's almost $80, $80 worth of mascara, which I think is kind of cool. This is the black uh, Volumizing Mascara and this is one of the four uh, for the giveaway. I'll show you the wand. Now this mascara starts off like a mascara usually does two weeks in, a weekend, two weeks in, you know that kind of when it dries out a little bit, it's less wet. This starts out that way. That's what makes it a really great mascara to me because it starts out good and it lasts forever. Now this one um, had, I've gone through a few of these. This one, it was really weird. It um, separated, meaning the whole thing, when I would open it, the whole thing would come out, meaning the thing that kind of, um, I, get, I don't know what you would call it, but the thing that kind of you pull, when you pull the mascara wand that kind of gets the excess off, the whole thing would come out. But I had to twist it like back in and it was fine. Uh, but that's what it started to do, to, do towards the end. These are usually about 20 bucks a piece. I usually get them in sets though, so I don't pay like the $20. But uh, a good mascara. Another mascara, my favorite of all high-end mascaras. This is, I used up one of these. It's uh, Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. Um, this is just such a great mascara. It's definitely my favorite high-end mascara. I'll show you the wand. Really, really nice wand. If you want to go for something a little cheaper, though, these are like $30 a tube, so I get like one or two a year, maybe three. Um, but if you want to get something that's just as good that I find to be kind of, in my mind, a dupe for this, it's at the drugstore. It's the Alme uh, Get Up and Grow. You know, it's a white tube with green, I think. Uh, but yeah, that's a great, you know, $7 alternative to a $30 mascara, so it's really good. Now this I used up, this is the Makeup Forever Eye Prime. And I like this. I wouldn't purchase it again um, because I just have so many other primers I really like. I like the Tarte 360 eye primer. I like the Lorac, uh, what is it, behind the scenes eye primer. Really, really a lot. Uh, that's what I'm using now since I finished this up. Uh, but this Makeup Forever eye prime is good. No creasing. It works really well. Um, I think there's less in this tube than there is in those other primers. I mean, those other primers can last forever for me, but this did not. Um, I do like that it has a wand, um, so that was really nice. But I don't think I would get this again. It just wasn't that exciting to me. Um, the other thing is, is when you, um, when, you know, I have a deeper skin tone and when I put it over my lids, it does leave a little bit of a cast, um, which is fine because I'm usually putting over darker colors on my lid. Uh, but if that's an issue for you, if you like kind of a, which I kind of tend to prefer something that doesn't leave any color behind, a primer that doesn't leave any color behind, that's something to be aware of before you check that out. Uh, this is the Milani Brow Tint Pen. It's a felt tip, um, which I thought would be really interesting and I thought I really wouldn't like, but I ended up liking. At first, it was hard to use. It has the felt tip. Um, this is the color dark brown. It has that felt tip. And the thing about it is, is I was very, very nervous about using it. I'll show you the color on my hand. Um, I was very, very nervous about using it because I felt like, oh my. Um, once you you know make a mark on your lids it's there forever it actually was hard to work with at first because i just had to learn to use a really light touch but after a while i really got into it i'd say by the end of the first week using it and it's drying out for me but it is long wearing it doesn't move you just have to be there's kind of aware there's a learning curve with it i would say i don't know what other colors they have but this is the uh, dark brown 
This took me a while to use. This is kind of the older style of Bare Minerals liners. This is the big, big and bright eyeliner in intense black, and I've had this for a while. Let me see if I can still get some color. Oh, I can still get some color. It is a very, very intense black. I love how intense it is. Really, really nice deep black shade. Um, really worked well in my waterline. Didn't move around. Um, I like that about it. The newer Bare Minerals liners seem to move in my waterline. I don't. Um, use them for that. Like today I'm using one of the Anastasia's Covet liners. I have like a lot of the colors and uh, there's a post on my blog if you want to see the colors. I have like six colors. But this is a black one and it stays put in my waterline but this not so much so I tended to use it on the top of my lid um, for lining but I love the intense black shade. It's like along the lines of uh, Urban Decay's Perversion which is a super deep black that I like. Uh, oh, one more skincare item. I think this is one more. Um, this is the uh, Bare Minerals Firming Eye Treatment. I finished one of these, and this is probably my second one that I finished from them. Um, I have the other hydrating primer, or eye primer. I have one of those to use as well um, in my uh, drawer, but this one I finished up. I don't notice a whole lot of firming. It was nice and moisturizing, but not a whole lot of firming. That's why after the second tube, I wouldn't buy it again because I... I'm back on my tart. I've been using my tart uh, Maracuja. Is it Maracuja C brightener? Like I love that stuff. Uh, it's the best, and it'll be in favorites this month. And I got to tell you why, because I, I went off of it and went back on it again, and I noticed such an extreme difference. Anyway, this is uh, from Bare Minerals, and it's nice. It's not great. I'm looking for something to help improve my under eye area, meaning moisturization and uh, help with the, you know, Pig, you know, the pigmentation under there. So this just isn't, you know, the end all be all for me. It's 0.5 ounces. And uh, again, this, this is something I definitely got at the uh, outlet last year as well. This was fun to use, and I posted a picture on Instagram of me with this uh, Glam Glow. This is a sample I got from Sephora. Glam Glow Youth Mud tingle exfoliate treatment. I used this. I really liked it. It made my skin super smooth afterward. I posted an Instagram pic of me with it on his my on my face and Max looking at me and it was really really funny because he was just like what is going on? Uh, <laughs> follow me on Instagram if you don't. Uh, I put up a, a few interesting pictures here and there. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, this was really really great. I looked at how much the full size is and I'm still thinking about it. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, this was really good. Let me just show you what it looks like uh, so you can check it out. But yeah, they have this at Sephora and I was really excited to get a sample and test it out. And I finally used up one of my uh, EOS lip balms. I forget which, this doesn't say anything on it, so I don't know what scent it is. It smells really good. Um, I can't even rub this on my lips anymore because it, it scratches the sides or the, the, the uh, lip balm is lower than the sides. So anyway, and it does look kind of gross. I don't know why I showed you that. I should have just kept it in the zoo. But anyway, I like these. I got... Um, a set recently uh, for uh, breast care aware, uh, breast cancer awareness month. Uh, so I have more of these, but yeah, I do like these balms uh, from EOS. They're really, really nice. I think that one was by my bedside, um, so I would put it on at night. Um, this is Sephora by o OPI's uh, Brush on Cuticle Oil. I uh, carry this in my purse and I finish this up. This is a really, really nice cuticle oil to use on the go because it has that little tip and you can kind of really get in there and get the cuticles. I'd be waiting in line at the bank or whatever and, you know, <laughs> moisturizing my cuticles to pass the time. Uh, this is the last thing. This is uh, one of the uh, Pacifica uh, lotions. It's a, or actually, it's a body butter. This smells so good. Um, blood orange. It's a really, really good. Now, it says intensely moisturizing cream. I wouldn't say it's that intense, uh, but it keeps the ash away. I liked using it on my um, elbows, knees, and stuff like that, and I finished it while we were um, on our trip. So yeah, it is a really good scent. I've smelled uh, a lot of these. I got these off of, I think I got them off of Hot Look in a set, and this is definitely my favorite scent. Love, love, love this really, really good. So I used up a lot of products, didn't I? I thought I'd share that with you. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you very soon. What I'm going to do for this coming weekend is uh, <laughs> uh, some hauling uh, since I have a bunch of stuff that came for me um, 
while I was away and I've been catching up. If you watch my vlog channel, you know I've been catching up because I put up a couple videos this week on some things that I found uh, that were new to me and uh, new to most of us, I think, at the dr drugstore, high end, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to do a haul on Saturday and a haul on Sunday. I'll split them up, drugstore and then like a high end one. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. So look out for that this weekend and uh, I will see you guys very, very soon. Hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.